Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be attempting a very interesting challenge. Now, as you can see, we have the Peterman 3790 right here, and we're out on the Desert Trails map. But we're not out here for the normal purpose of being on this map. We're not out here for the dunes, we're not out here for the rock crawling trails, and we're not out here for anything else besides one of the most dangerous roads that I have found yet in this game. On any map, whether it's a modded map or a vanilla map, and either way... This is going to be one of the most intense hauls I have ever done with the Peterman. Now, in the interest of maneuverability, I have left it as a kind of a short cab, a day cab design. That way, the trailer doesn't have any chance of bumping into the back of the truck cab. And speaking of trailers, I have the low saddle triple axle fuel trailer here. And then, of course, got my radio up there, got beans on the dash, and we are ready to go. Let's get on out of here. Now, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. I'm not moving. Okay, I was gonna say, why am I not moving? There we go. Oh, yo, what the heck? That's weird, because there's only one gear when you have it in automatic mode. What do we have now? Let's see. Seven automatic gears? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, but I'm gonna put it in low, and already you can see why the all-wheel drive was necessary. And also, consider the fact that, uh... There's no, uh, there's no trees. There's nothing to winch to on this entire... Why are you going backwards? Uh, I was gonna say, that's not necessarily a backward gear, bud. Did I, like, did I go a little bit off the deep end with this? I might have, actually. Like, I might have actually legitimately gone off the deep end with this setup. Oh, there's the diff lock. All right, come on. Come on. Yo, this takes me back, man. Like, doing a challenge like this in a semi-truck takes me back to the days of... Like, if, if, if you guys... Okay, if those of you out there that remember the map that was very similar to this way back in the days of a game called Rigs of Rods, let me know in the comments section below because this is giving me some mad Rigs of Rods vibes. All right, I'm gonna make my way around this corner. And the beginning of this road is very mellow, but don't let that fool you. It gets wild later on, and the consequences for messing up go very, like, they, they get very high very quickly. They're already getting up there. As you can see, if you mess up, your drive is over. And you're gonna have to, actually, in order to make your way around some of these corners, you're gonna have to get extremely close to the edge. Come on. I'm having to get that front tire so close to the edge because if I don't, the trailer's gonna get bound up on the uh, on the inside. So it's all about this weird back and forth. But if I don't get all the way up to the wall, then the trailer is gonna go over the edge. All right, nice and easy. This is gonna be a tricky climb. I'm gonna need the lockers for this. Come on. This is already like genuinely terrifying and I'm not sure how it's like, I'm not sure how we ended up in this mess, but uh, we're here now, and we're gonna figure our way through it. All right, lockers low plus, let's power up that hill. All right, so this is a part that I was planning for, and it's, it is weird, but I think we're gonna have to make this turn. I know that sounds like potentially the worst idea ever, but we're gonna have to make this turn. Now, there is a, there, there is kind of an outcropping of trees right there, and we might have to use them uh, to our advantage to help us turn, but uh, turning around here is gonna be probably one of the gnarliest tasks I've ever had to attempt. Back you up. That trailer is like, it's, the, the trailer is in space right now. I mean, it's, it's legitimately over the edge. It's in space, and I don't really know how to feel about it other than the fact that I'm very scared. I'm surprised that front axle is still on the ground. Like, most trucks would be... Uh-oh. There we go. There we... There, whoa, there we go. All right, I feel like it's fair to use the winch right here. Considering the kind of vehicle I'm trying to make this turn with, I mean... I know that this is not the kind of vehicle that was ever attempt or that was ever intended to go on a road like this, but you know what? Like I said, we're doing it anyway, and so we're using every advantage at our disposal. Oh, that's narrow! God, the whole truck barely even fits through there. I brought beans with me for good luck, so I think we'll be alright. I am literally hanging my wheel over the edge. 
Like, that is literally, like, right on the edge of actual doom right there. Alright, you're almost up and around. Thing is, I'm gonna have to go wide and then back up, because again, if I don't do that, I'm gonna be in a world of issues. Come on. Wow, I might already be in a world of, of issues right there. Oh no. I'm saving this. I'm saving this with a winch. There's, oh my god, that is so bad. I'm not even going to call that a ninja winch because a ninja winch would have been if I had almost flipped over. And technically I did almost flip over, but I feel like that's on another level. That's not even ninja winch. That's just like, that's just sketchy. Are you even going to make your, oh my god. Are you even going to make your way back up? Okay. All right. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. Can I winch to something else? Can I winch to something else? Maybe the... Really? None of those other trees. Alright. Oh, that's... That's frustrating. Did that winch from a different point? I don't know what point that winched from, but I think it messed me up. Oh, come on! Come on! I feel so... God, I feel so cheated out of that. I don't know why, I just do... And it's like, it's so incredibly, like, infuriating whenever you make it this far and then something silly like that completely ruins your, like, attempt at something. Come on! Oh my god, and the problem is, it's so close right there that there's no way... Oh, there's no way it can flip back over because the edge of the wall is so close. Man, we really, uh... We really put ourselves in a in a spot here, didn't we? We really, really did. Oh my god, we really did. Let me try a, a different winch point. Let me actually... Ooh. Let me try backing up. No, 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 no. That's not good. The thing is, I could go along this wall forever, but it's... I don't know if it's ever actually going to do me any good. Oh my god. Dude, I am literally right at the edge now. I am right at the edge now. This right here might be my only chance at actually flipping the trailer back over. But the thing is, it pulls it from the edge. Or sorry, not from the edge. But it pulls it from, essentially, the middle. And then doesn't allow me to flip it back over at all. Oh, this is like... This is a gnarly spot to be in. I don't even know how you would flip your truck back over in this case. Like, straight up, I really don't know how you would flip a trailer back over in this case. You probably wouldn't. You'd probably just be like, yeah, that's, um, that's that. Is there any way that I could... Oh my god. All right. We're gonna kind of forget that, that ever happened, and since this is my very first time ever going up this hill, we're gonna kind of forget that that ever happened because I still want to make it to the top. I still want to make it to the top so bad, and I'm like, you know what? If that's gonna be part of it, then that's gonna be part of it, but I'm just gonna have to watch out for any kind of scenarios that could basically put me in that same position again. All right, easy does it. Let's make our way up. Dude, that is so gnarly. Like, it's right at the edge. It literally is the most dangerous road in the game, I think. If there are any other roads in the game that you guys think are more dangerous than this road, oh my god, let me know in the comment section down below. Because this is about as dangerous as it gets, in my opinion, for SnowRunner. Like, I don't know how you would get more dangerous than this in terms of dangerous roads. I mean, look at what we just drove through. Look at the level of, basically, like, the level at which, like, if you mess up, you are doomed. I mean, look at that. You are literally doomed if you mess up in just about, like, every way. I mean, I'm gonna actually, like, there we go. That should give you a little bit more of, like, a view of what we actually just dealt with. Now that I look at it from up top, it's actually a lot scarier than it was initially. Because now that I look at it, I'm like, holy crap, that's, like, really bad. That was, like, really terrifying. All right. Back into this view now. 
Let's go ahead and continue to make our way because I don't know if I want to sit and look at that for much longer. Oh, I'm going to have to turn the lockers off because they're going to overheat. But now I'm going to have to turn them back on. All right, this is the railway bridge. And I am, that's, this is part of the reason why I didn't bring a really wide trailer because I'm like hoping and praying that I can actually fit. Oh my God. I am on a railway bridge right now. This is actually, like, legit one of the coolest things I think I've ever done in this game. This is so insane. Dude. This is so ridiculous. Like, you guys have got to come out here to this section of desert trails. And if you do it in a semi-truck, even better. Because it really does, like, amp up that, like... that Almost like that slight, you know, like, anxiousness factor. Like, it, it brings it up a little higher than you might think. All right, easy does it there, and off of the train bridge. Boy, that's amazing. I can see a little house down there in the distance by the uh, by the big racetrack. All right, so let's see. So that would go down and then circle back, or this would turn right, and it would basically turn right, connect, and turn left, and then you could go down to that house if you wanted to. So I think what we might do is we might actually head for that house, and I don't know the best way to make this turn. I think I'm just going to send it. Yep, I think I'm just going to send it. And I think I'm not even going to follow that trail. I think I'm just going to, like, actually legitimately send it, send it. Keep me upright. Thank you. There you go. Almost there. Almost onto the main road. This is the part of the video where we throw realism out the window. Uh, oop, easy. Turn, and when it goes to flip over, catch it on the side. Yep, there we go. And catch it again. And safety catch it one more time, and now we're good. And we can go ahead and put it back into automatic mode, and we're going to make our way down to that house, because apparently that is what I have just now decided is going to be our actual destination. Right, easy. Ooh, had to use the e-brake on the way down. You pick up so much... Stop! That was almost really bad. Like, I don't think I need to tell you guys how bad that almost was. Holy smokes. All right. You know what? I know that we could take this route on the outside, but I want to take the racetrack. I want to take the racetrack to get to the house. This racetrack is super wide. I mean, this is freaking, like, four-lane highway wide. Wow. Oh, geez. Dude, can you imagine, like, Peterman semi-truck racing out here on this freaking racetrack? That would be brilliant. Yo, what is this? Is that an active, like, fuel station or is that a task? Yo, that's an active fuel station. Perfect. We literally... Oh my god, that's beautiful because, well, hey, they needed us to deliver the fuel anyway. Now, that, my friends, was actually, like, that was a really, really fun challenge. And if you guys want to replicate this challenge yourselves, you can replicate it on either PC or console by going to the... Desert Trails map and using the Peterman 3790 mod. The trailer is part of the vanilla game. And with that being said, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.